Saying a big star of the future, 295 wins and five losses as an amateur. Comes out in his relaxed southpaw stance. Two wins, no losses as a Oh, player. lands a nice in, right. In it, in straight left, straight off. He's in with the welterweight champion of Fiji, a petty Tagi, who already seems under fire by the two time Olympian, Mamadov, all the way from Uzbekistan, now out of Black Town. Southpaw, presents. Obstacles already, natural obstacles for Targi, but it looks like that left hand is the hammer. I saw his first professional fight, he fought a tough tie, and I said it's just as good as that. Chinian's pro first pro right. fight, so I've got big reps on, uh, on Mama Top. He fought a couple of low risk uh, tie fighters in his first two fights, but he's in against the welterweight champion of Fiji, who is coming off a win himself. I don't think this will go the distance this journey. Mama Top is a class fighter. Target looks a bit ruffled by those left hooks and straight lefts that are coming in from Mamadov, the two time Olympian, already finding his range early in the fight. Very and well, Paul. Back Target, back to Target trying to counter attack, true Pacific style from the corner. But it looks like there's a pedigree differential already at this stage of the fight. Good, good body Dick work and body by Dug in that left hook. Looks like he's handling the rising class so far, Pete. Still shot Marmadov in his third fight. Look, I think I'm expecting big things from Dillshop. I think he can win a world title. I don't say that about many fighters, but he's one guy that I would like to get involved with. I think he can go all the way. The Petty Targi almost landed a left hook there. And Dillshot is keeping his hands down. It looks like he's trying to land that money shot. He might get caught off balance here, so I think he's departing from Lincoln's fight plan. Good for Dillshot to get back on. Keep those hands up. Nothing really in the way of power yet from Targi. You don't see it going the distance, speed. I think he's showing some pretty no. good skills. Just got to stay away from that left hand if he wants to last as long as he can in this fight. Wow, big powerful roundhouse left for there from Dillshot Mamadov. Here's Becky showing some great power in his third fight here on Australian soil. How much can Taki take of this? Oh, big body shot! Massive body shot. Taki doesn't look like he's going to get Ooh. up from that. Chris Anderson waves it off. A world champion in the making here. Fantastic. Can't say a star is born with his amateur record, but a petty Taki, it looked like that left was going to land on the body all night, and he's hit him with a massive body shot. But for a world champion, you need to have the full arsenal of punches. And that means not going header hunting 
and that means being patient. And Dilshad Marmadov showed all of that then, and that's what you've got to do. You've just got to put the guys down in front of you. But he's comprehensively out for the welterweight champion of Fiji, one of our regional fighters. So Lincoln Hudson's done a great job with him, and I think there's a lot to look forward from, from this. Uh, we won't call him a young man. He's 27 now. He's, he's a lot of ring craft. I'd like to see him have his hands up more, but a lot of positives to come out of that bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 43 seconds of round one. What a sensational Aussie, the little girl champion, Mark Rudolph, big winner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the